All right, the leg tuck. One of the biggest things not to do is fight with the bar. A lot of you are keeping that head down and you're fighting, you're kind of pulling against that bar and trying to fight with it while you're trying to bring your knees and elbows together, okay? It's not gonna happen. It's gonna be very difficult and for most of us, impossible to do. So what I'm talking about looks like this. So three things I want you to focus on when performing the leg tuck. Number one is that lean back. So as you're pulling yourself up, I want you to pull yourself back at an angle, okay? So it's a here instead of fighting it here. So use that bar, don't fight against it. Number two, your eyes. I want you to focus your eyes up at the bar or behind you. Your body will follow your eyes. So when you're looking up or trying to look behind you, your body will pull into that angle, okay? Three is a tuck. So as you're pulling and bending your knees at the same time, I want you to tuck your knees to your elbow, to your, your knees to your elbows by tucking your hips. So it looks like this. Now I did a little bit more of a lean back, but my elbows are still slightly bent and I can tuck to touch my uh, knees to my elbow. Now you can go more in a straight line. So this is how that looks. All right, I have a few training tips that should help you prepare for the leg tuck. Um, one of them is train like an athlete. If this is a max strength event for you, don't train this every day. Um, or don't, and that's for the ACFT overall, okay? So don't train the full ACFT every day. Uh, don't train max deadlifts every day. Don't train max leg tucks every day. So train like an athlete. An athlete isn't, um, a marathon runner isn't running a marathon every day or even every week. They're doing things and they're doing training to prepare them for that main event. And that's how your training should be for the ACFT. You're doing small trainings throughout the week and that can be from two days to five days to prepare you for the big event. Okay, if you, and this is a big key for strength training in general, if you are training to max every day, every training day, it's gonna put wear and tear on your body. Um, it's, it's not gonna give you optimal results. Okay, there is a time and place when to work through exha exhaustion, to push yourself, challenge yourself, you know, all the way through uh, your training session, but also for strength training, you wanna have at least one or two reps in the tank um, and you don't want to train to failure every single time. Your body just won't recover well from it. Fighting this beat. Your body won't recover well from it and you won't get the results that you could get if you did a proper training program. So train smart, train like an athlete, do trainings for the main event. Don't do the main event for your training. So I have a level one and a level two training program that I will post the links in the description. Um, take a look at those. Uh, you'll also notice what I just said about not training to your max um, all the time. Um, in the level two, you notice that you're looking for your five RM, so your five rep max for one of the pull exercises that I have listed. And then once you have that, you're not doing that five rep max anymore. You're building it up with a three, two, one ladder and adding one rep each training session. Okay, so this is smart training. You're not exhausting yourself every single training, okay? You're building yourself up to get stronger, smarter, and faster.
just happened there? I had 10 pounds, five kilos added to me and I struggled. As soon as I dropped off that 10 pounds of weight off my body, I was able to perform a lot better. So a quick tip, losing five to 10 pounds body weight will help performance with the leg tuck. Now it's not a magic pill or magic potion just from losing the weight won't make you automatically better. So you still need to train for strength and technique and practice this event. But just a quick tip, losing a little bit of weight, if you're lighter, it's gonna be easier to pull as you gain strength. One more thing. The strength that you gain from training for the leg tuck and performing the leg tuck in general will help your performance with the overall ACFT. The strength you gain, so the core strength, the full body strength that you gain from the leg tuck will help with the deadlift, it will help with your runs, it will help with the sprint, drag, and carry, it will help you overall for the whole event. So don't hate so much on the leg tuck. It's new, it's challenging, that's okay. If you train properly, so train smarter, not harder for this event, you can accomplish the amount of leg tucks that you need to do this for the test, if not more. So work on it, stay consistent with the program, be patient, and if you have any questions, you hit any roadblock, roadblocks or need some programming ideas, email me at goingdoingliving at gmail.com, comment below, or private message me anytime. I'm more than happy to help. I want you to succeed at this event, and I want you to pass ACFT at the best of your ability. So hit me up if you need anything. I'm here.